Hey everyone, welcome to our channel, Nathan. We are doing Aurora. So this is a patron request for Onion. Thank you. And Onion is here right now watching us. This is what they had to say. This is another live performance, Nathan. It's a soul with no king. It is not confirmed, but personally, this is what Onion said. Personally, I think the song is written from Mother Earth's point of view. Oh, interesting. Hmm. It is Mother Earth speaking and calling humanity for, quote, a man with no wisdom and, quote, a soul with no king and accusing us of being friends with the devil. This is a stripped-down version of the song. They do recommend that we listen to the album version privately on our own, if we're interested, just to see the sounds of the different instruments with the studio version. So this is a stripped-down okay. live. So this would probably showcase Aurora's vocal work, I presume. So anyways, without further ado, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, thanks, Ainyan. That's great. Sound of that. Like a loot. Is that what that is? Okay. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know my loops. That's all right. Okay, your turn. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I agree. That that was too short. That's what she said. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Nathan, let's uh let's let's be serious here, okay? We gotta be serious here. We're this Aurora. Oh. No, no fooling around. Yeah, this was incredible. I, I mean, I know it's a live vocal, but it's like really? It's insane. Like when she was again, she makes it look so effortless, but she's got this mystical, almost like otherworldliness to her. I don't know how to describe it. She's she's like an angel, an elfin queen with Lord of the Ring powers. She's amazing. And of course, the mandolin. Thank you, Onion, for explaining that. <laughs> or the mandula, mandola, a larger mandola. mandolin. We love the performance. If I don't say the words correctly, I apologize. Yeah, this was an amazing performance. And I love the guy playing that instrument with the strings because that mm -hmm. sound throughout was really cool. It reminded me of the chorus. It was very Led Zeppelin -y, yes, you know, mm -hmm. Battle of Evermore type sound to it, mixed with some REM sound to it, which I'm sure he's influenced by because REM was big on that, on the mandolin with their songs, which I love. So this song grabbed me right away, musically right away. And then, of course, Aurora's vocal performance, amazing. Her her movements, when she looks at the camera, the way she plays the keyboard, and then she looped her own vocal and walked away and sang in the back. Like she's just, she's got. 30 more years before she's even considered old and singing. Like, what is she going to do 30 years from now, Nathan? I, I know she's been featured as a, a soundtrack artist uh, mm. on a number of different soundtracks. This sounds like it could easily yes. be uh, yes. a soundtrack for a movie. I know it's a cliche. and if, I wish there was a different way for me to say what I'm going to say. I got the chills. When she hit that high note, I was just like, whoa, we've heard Aurora do stuff with her voice before, but I don't know if she's ever done this. This is the best Aurora song I've ever heard. Um, I think so. This I one, think so. This one really, really got me. This is the kind of stuff that I want to add to my phone and listen to on a regular mm -hmm. basis or use even in videos that I make. This feels just so up my alley as far as that sound and her vocals and even without the video, it's a, just a phenomenal song gushing over this i know I, the ability to loop that the live mm -hmm. performance this was hands down the best and now like just like you said onion i want to go hear the album version if it's comparable if it's not as good as this i almost want this instead because i just I, I don't know it just it was so good thanks everybody more aurora please uh, aurora is, is such a good artist i would love to hear more thanks everyone for joining us we'll see you in the next one